So here I am, almost at Tectonics, going to pick up my transmission and exhaust system and then head back to Josh's dad's place um, in his engine shop. And uh, this is in the shadow of uh, Mount Hood and, you know, south of Portland. And it's just a spectacular country scenery here. It's uh, definitely uh, a beautiful day and a beautiful drive. So here is Tectonics. There it is, right there. Home of the BW Fanatics. So this is Josh again. Looking bad, looking really good. You're taking care of yourself. And that's the German transaxle transmission. And here we are in the home of all the great things VW, in North America at least. So here we are at Mark's VW service and there's Josh. And there's the, hello the master and there's the intake system which needs to be offset three millimeters otherwise we're not going to fit it to this gorgeous new engine here so there it is it's kind of crazy beautiful it's a proud father and father's father there's there. two generations right there well here we are I've uh, driven this back to Vancouver from Amity Oregon our new engine Exhaust system, transmissions in the box, and axles, and intake system, and all kinds of other things. The car's full of stuff. Here we have the engine. It's arrived home from Josh and Tectonics in Oregon. And uh, came in the back of my Prius. And it's sitting here with some other car parts. Got my uh, suspension and some of the braking bits there. Anyway, um, so what we've got here is the AT power uh, individual throttle body system. It's got two injector ports. I will probably run nitrous in the front port and then uh, the fuel injectors in the rear port, but we may end up switching to a, a double fuel injector system where we run small injectors close to the head um, for uh, idle and part throttle and then switching to the big uh, injectors or supplementing with the larger injectors for high rpm high uh, full full wide open throttle um, these throttle bodies are uh, pretty special they're called shaftless throttle bodies so if you stare down inside i open the throttle up um sorry it's hard to push it with my finger but when i open it up uh, you can't see in the dark, sorry, but anyway, it's um, there's no shaft. When those butterflies open, they are um, there's basically just a knife edge. And uh, if I shine a light in there, which I don't have right now, um, you can see the intake and exhaust, uh, the intake valves, the actual stems and the and the base of the valve. So it's a straight sh straight shot running all the way in. If I end up not using the smaller injectors, depending on the idle quality, I will. Um, probably mount the nitrous from underneath but I'm going to have to build a, uh, a manifold absolute pressure a map sensor to detect manifold vacuum so I will run a, a, a log underneath so this is the ABF motor uh, for the base and it's a 95.5 millimeter stroke from the diesel engine so it's got the um, factory forged crank that's been prepped and uh, custom rods custom pistons. It's sitting at uh, just under 12 to 1 compression, 11.8, 11.9 to 1 compression. And um, I'm going to be running on 95 octane, uh, 94 octane unleaded that I can get here in Canada. And I've also got some octane boost that I can supplement. Um, and um, so these are a set of stainless steel, uh, three one and three quarter inch race headers. And I will polish those up. And all I did on the intake, uh, on the uh, valve cover, is I did a dark gray anodizing. I wanted it to look a little bit industrial. Uh, we've decided to go for the um, water um, cooler, water heater uh, attachment. Um, we'll see whether or not I need to run an external oil uh, cooler as well. But for now, this will allow us to um, have the oil uh, come up to temperature faster because it's going to take the water, which comes up to temperature first and then it'll circulate that water through the oil and warm the oil up and then keep the oil at the right temperature and I may not need to run a separate oil cooler 
but we'll just have to see. So I'll mount, um, I'll take this distributor block off plate and I will put in a modified di distributor that's just there for uh, cylinder one top dead center, sen uh, center. so TDC um, Hall effect sensor for the computer. So I know where cylinder one's firing. And um, down here we've got the ABF motor um, 60 tooth um, crank sensor um, port. So I'll install the crank sensor there, put an oil pressure sensor here, uh, fuel pressure sensor, water temperature sensor, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, so we'll have this all wired up and then we've got to figure out how to um, get the uh, um, get all the cooling and plumbing sorted on this thing so there's going to be lots of work but uh, we're expecting 240 horse with the 288 sport cams and all the head work that's been done on this and um, well, we'll dyno it and we'll find out won't we so I'll, it'll be a, it'll be a wheel dyno but we should be well over 200 wheel horsepower with this uh, set up and then the nitrous goes on top of that um, so we should be in supercar territory in terms of power to weight ratio if the car weighs 1800 pounds and it has 300 horsepower you can do the math so anyway i will be tig welding uh some of the exhaust bits there's a few things that are still missing in the exhaust system that i forgot to bring back but what's really special here and i haven't unwrapped these is josh and his dad mark um arnold they they did these custom drive shafts so they've got brand new Scirocco OEM uh, CVs, um, constant velocity joints, just really heavy, heavy duty, really good quality original ones, um, and um, custom shafts for my application. And uh, this is like impossible to get stuff. And they have pulled a rabbit out of their hat. And they've also, I'll walk down the hall here and show you a uh, lots more bits in another room here. But uh, they've gone, and uh, there's the engine uh, cherry picker that I've leave here for now. But these, so again, look at this beautiful OEM stuff, and uh, with the hundred um, hundred uh, millimeter axle stuff from the Scirocco again. So it's uh, we're all ready with the bigger axles and bearings and hubs and stuff.